a company made a public issue of 125000 equity shares of rupees 100 each rupees 50 payable on application the entire issue was underwritten by the four parties a b c d in proportion of 30% 25% 25% 20% 20% terms agreed on a commission of 2% was payable on the amounts underwritten and a b c d also agreed on firm underwriting 4000 6000 nil and 15000 the total subscriptions excluding the firm underwriting here there is no problem for us in the previous problem we have to assume and do it whereas here it is clearly given that the total applications subscriptions excluding underline that excluding if the problem is silent we will feel it as excluding only excluding the underwriting including market applications were for 90000 shares market applications received were as under a 24000 here look at carefully after a normally what will come b should come whereas the problem gives you c so that in the examination in a hurry you take this 12000 against b that too much care one should be taking c 12000 b 20000 d 24000 ascertain the liability of individual underwriters and also show the journal entry that you would make in the books of the company all working should form the part of your answer right the basic data basic data number of shares offered number of shares offered oblique to to the public 125000 next less firmly underwritten shares less firmly underwritten shares 4 plus 6 plus 15 how much it is 25000 balance is 1 lakh less market applications market applications take your calculator 24 plus 12 plus 20 plus 24 24 plus 12 plus 20 plus 24 80000 balance is how much 20000 less unmarked applications less unmarked applications in the inner column 90000 minus 80000 total received is 90000 marked applications are 80000 So ninety thousand minus eighty thousand ten thousand. So twenty thousand minus ten thousand is what ten thousand. What is the ten thousand friends? Shares to be subscribed under general underwriting. Shares to be subscribed under general underwriting. Now write a statement of ascertainment of statement of ascertainment of. obligation of general obligation of underwriters under general underwriting under general underwriting first gross liability first particulars a b c d particulars a b c d general underwriting general underwriting general general gross liability sorry gross liability how much is the gross liability take your calculator 125000 into 30% 1 lakh 25000 into 30% 3750 1 lakh 25000 into 25% 31250 1 lakh 
again 31 to 50 then 125000 into 20 percent how much 25000 less firmly underwritten shares less firmly underwritten shares how much it is 4000 6000 nil 15,000. Thereby, what is the trends? Balance 33,500, then how much? 25,250, 31,250, 10,000. Less marked applications. 24,000, then write 20,000, then again as to C you write 12,000, again as to D 24,000, balance Karado, 33,000 minus 24,000, 9,500, 5,250, Much it is? 19,250. Surplus kitna? Surplus is 14,000. Less credit for marked applications. Less credit for marked applications. Unmarked applications. Less credit for unmarked application. Already marked applications ko de diye na? So, unmarked applications 10,000 code distribute karo, 10,000 in the ratio of uh, 30 is to 25 is to 25 is to 20 bhi kar do, kaisa bhi wo surplus, a surplus, dono surplus ko mila ke karenge. So, 30 is to 25 is to 25 is to 20, kitna 3,000, 2,500, 2,500, 2,500, uh, sorry 2,000. आप करके देखो 6500 3000 सॉरी 2750 देन 16 16750 माइनस माइनस अगेन विल बिकम माइनस 16000 दैट राइट नेक्स्ट एक्सेस ऑफ मिस्टर डी Excess of Mr. D distributed among A, B, C in the ratio of 30 is to 25 is to 25. That means 16,000 divided by 80 into 30. 16,000 divided by 80 into 30 makes it to what? 6,000. 16,000 divided by 80 into 25. 5000 and again 5000. Ab bata dijiye kya hai wo. 500 in case of Mr. Um, ye minus 2250 in case of B. Please write first minus 2250 and 11750. So, kisko surplus aage? B ko surplus aage. Again distributing the surplus of Mr. B in the ratio of 30 is to 25, in the ratio of 30 is to 25. So, 2250 divided by 55 into 30, 2250 divided by 55 into 30, 1 to, uh, 1 to 27 and then One zero two three. Hmm. Ab bata dijiye. Seven twenty seven surplus uh, uh, came to Mister Y, and uh, deficit came to Mister uh, C is ten thousand seven twenty seven. So again, excess of Mister Y distributed to C. Kitna? 
to 10,000. So, who has to subscribe for 10,000 shares? C has to subscribe for 10,000 shares is the point. That is his general obligation. That is his general obligation. So, how do we go about write that? Underwriting commission account data to underwriting commission account data to A to B to C to D. Underwriting commission account data to A to B to C to D. What is the total underwriting commission, friends? 1,25,000 into 100 into 2 percent. Inner column pelic law. 1,25,000 into 100 into uh, 2,50,000. AK ko kitna milega? 30 percent of 2,50,000. 75,000. 10. 62,500. How much? 50,000. Then next friends, that is uh, firmly underwritten shares, Kaisabi along with the general public, they will uh, what you call subscribe for. So, now the additional subscription should come in the form of general underwriting, is not it or not? So, general underwriting may cone pay karna, who has to subscribe? C has to subscribe. So, Cardo, what is the entry that you will write? C is, uh, that is, he uh, will not uh, immediately pay. First, we, we have to adjust uh, a, the amount payable against the underwriting commission. Na? So, receivable from him, Boleto Kaisa Karna, share application. What is the uh, uh, here? What is the entry? underwriting commission to this? Kada? So, we have to receive from him na. So, C is account data to share application. In the place of B bank amount receivable from him na. So, that is the reason why C is account data to share application. Kitna 10,000 into 10,000 shares, you know, subscribe karna na 50. 10,000 into 50 is equal to kidna 5 lakhs, 5 lakhs. Ab bada dijiye kisko pay karna aur kin se receive karna. To whom we have to pay and to from whom we have to receive. We have to receive from C. We have to pay to A, B, D. Ah, so, A's account data. B's account data, D's account data to bank. Kitna pay karte hain aap? 75,000, 62,500, 50,000 put together is 1,87,500. So, unse kitna receive karte bank account data to C. Debits minus credits. Debits minus credit. Four lakhs thirty seven thousand five hundred. Four lakh thirty seven thousand five hundred is the point. Right, friends. They are the entries, and they are the entries subjected to what fact? Already application money in respect of the firmly underwritten shares is completely received is the point. Firmly underwritten shares is completely received is the point. Now, I move to the next question, which is given in November, sorry, November 86 ka kar do, ek bar. X limited issued 10,000 shares of rupees 100 each at a premium of 15 each. 
90% of this issue was underwritten by by measures brokers and company at a commission of 1% nominal face value. Applications received were 8000 shares and allotment was fully made. All monies due from the LRT were received in one installment. The account with the brokers and company were settled. Show the journal entries to record the transactions. Only one underwriter is there. Is it or not? Issue is very simple. Take the basic data. That is number of shares offered to the public, number of shares offered to the public, 10,000. Number of shares subscribed, how much it is? 8,000. Next, here what next is like it is not that the total what issue is being underwritten, only underwritten part is how much 90 percent only is a underwritten that fact also you write number of shares underwritten number of shares underwritten how much 90 percent of 10,000 9,000 there is no marked unmarked applications because that marked unmarked applications ka zarurat ka parta jab more than one underwriter is there who has to get the credit for the excess of the unmarked applications or excess of the others surplus uske liye aapko o oh, bifurcation soap malum hona jitta bhi public subscribe kare that end all is a, to be given a credit to whom credit is to be given to the what you call the only one underwriter is the point for the point now he has a, underwritten for 90,000 shares, number of shares received by the from the general public is 80,000. So, his obligation under general underwriting is what? 10,000 is a, his obligation under general underwriting, write the point. That is one way of looking at and uh, the aspect what we have discussed just make a note. It has been assumed that it has been assumed that remaining 10 percent, remaining 10 percent of the shares of the shares are underwritten by the company itself. So, this is a new concept you are learning. If a total issue is not underwritten, then the balance is presumed to have been underwritten by whom? by the company, assumed to have been underwritten by the a company. So, the obligation is to be shared between the underwriters, here who are the two underwriters? Company is also one underwriter and uh, this underwriter is one underwriter. If a total issue is underwritten, company obligation could be near at there is only a part is underwritten, remaining part is not underwritten means to that part which is not given for underwriting, company is presumed to be the underwriter is the point. Then slightly variation will come. Got the point? Because 90 percent only falls on whom? Falls on the underwriter. 10 percent goes to whom? Because company is the a deemed underwriter once issue is not completely underwritten. So, in the absence of the details of in the absence of the details of marked applications marked applications net liability would be worked out 
net liability would be worked out on the basis of the gross liability on the basis of the gross liability so if this is the thinking we are proceeding definitely obligation of the underwriter will go up just how it is going up normal process thinking is what he has given underwriting for 9000 shares and number of shares issued is 8000 so balance is 1000 but that's not a correct way of thinking what is the way of thinking that you need to have you have to say that for remaining 10% company is underwriter and once the number of shares which is received from the public the information regarding marked and unmarked is not given then the all are said to be unmarked only and unmarked is to be given credit in which ratio gross liability ratio in the absence of information regarding the marked applications all applications are to be presumed as what unmarked only unmarked ko kaise credit dete aap in the gross liability ratio so dekh lo first particulars particulars brokers and company one column x limited another column x limited another column then friends gross liability gross liability 9000 1000 less credit for unmarked applications credit for unmarked applications now in the ratio of 9 is to 1 in the ratio of 9 is to 1 that 8000 you distribute in 9 is to 1 7200 and 800 7200 and 800 so balance kitna net liability 1800 and 200 so pehle to entries likh do journal entries likh do again is that 1800 and 200 you write obligation under general underwriting obligation under general underwriting to subscribe for the shares to subscribe for the shares all the entries i am writing including the amounts received from the general public first entry is bank account debtor to share application now that is uh, 8000 into 115 8000 into 115 how much 9 lakhs 20000 9 lakhs 20000 being the money received from general public towards the shares applied the shares applied next share application account data share application account data to share capital to security premium again a share capital 8 lakhs again a security premium 1 lakh 20000 again is the security premium 1 lakh 20000 so that the total outer column is 9 lakhs 20000 again is the share application create kare close kare share application ko share capital ko transfer kara diye security premium ko bhi transfer kara diye 8000 into 15 laga diyo 8000 into 15 is how much 8000 into 100 is 8 lakh 8000 into 15 is equal to 1 lakh 20000 guys aage got the points hmm. next what is it measures uh, underwriting commission account debtor to measures brokers and co underwriting commission account debtor to measures broker and co कितना करेंगे हम 9000 थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन थाउजेंड इंटू ऑलवेज इट विल बी कैलकुलेटेड ऑन वॉट 
इश्यू प्राइस इश्यू प्राइस के ऊपर कैलकुलेट करना बोले तो रियल स्टेटेड अच्छा अच्छा ऐसा अग्रीमेंट वैसा है तो ऐसा करना तो नाइन थाउजेंड इंटू हंड्रेड इंटू वन परसेंट नाइन थाउजेंड इंटू हंड्रेड इंटू वाई वी आर डूइंग बिकॉज द अग्रीमेंट इज दैट ऑन फेस वैल्यू कैलकुलेशन How much it works out to be? Nine thousand, nine thousand, and then underwriters account that is <coughs> brokers and company account data to brokers and company account data to share capital to share premium or security premium to security premium. ना करते अगेन एस शेयर कैपिटल वन लाख एटी थाउजेंड अगेन एस सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम कितना अगेन एस सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम कितना करते हैं आप नाइन कितना एटीन हंड्रेड इंटू फिफ्टीन एटीन हंड्रेड इंटू फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड कुल मिला के एटीन हंड्रेड इंटू वन फिफ्टीन टू लैख सेवन थाउजेंड then the next issue is how much is to be received from the brokers and company debit kitna hai credit kitna hai 27000 minus 9000 likh do bank account debtor to bank account debtor to measures and company kitna 198000 वन लैख नाइंटी एट थाउजेंड तो दिस इज डेफिनेटली अ वेराइटी प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज वाट द फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स वी डिड एंड द सिक्स प्रॉब्लम विच वी हैव स्लाइटली द कॉन्सेप्ट इज डिफरेंट इन ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स विच वी डिड देर आर मोर देन वन ब्रोकर वेर एज इन दिस प्रॉब्लम देर इज ओनली वन अंडर राइटर सो एंड द इश्यू इज ऑल्सो नॉट फुल्ली सब्सक्राइब fully underwritten so in respect of the remaining part you have to assume and presume that the company is one of the underwriter in the absence of information regarding the marked applications all applications are to be treated as unmarked applications and un unmarked applications is to be given credit in which ratio gross liability ratio so that you calculate the and net liability is the points with that i close the underwriting commission